All right, so in this one, we had tons and tons revealed in their reveals and stuff here. Uh, an overwhelming amount compared to what we even expected. I'll be honest, that part one kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, all right, please go on. But let's just uh, go through everything that we are getting. There is a lot of stuff. Chance time, by the way, all the numbers were uh, picked out. So if you won, congratulations. If you didn't, uh, unfortunate, unlucky, maybe next time. I think there's a part three for it as well. Um, USTR getting some stuff there. Do have this uh, Android 17 actually getting a Zenkaitis not this week. This will be next week, just to point out. And the units, all new units, the new units that are new to the game are coming out tonight at reset. So expect a lot of videos on those. Then, continuing forward, what a crazy advertisement. Holy shit. A new Gohan. Now, this is something... A little interesting, you know, it's just a base form Gohan, but it is a new Gohan, nonetheless, from Superhero. Obviously, the theme being Superhero 4, uh, part 2 here, is uh, clearly what was expected. So, new Gohan, kind of underwhelming that it's just base form. I figured it'd be Super Saiyan to Ultimate because, well, the scene is very cool and it's anniversary, so, you know, go hand in hand. But, nonetheless, we continue. Orange Piccolo, the Revival Orange Piccolo, is coming to Dragon Ball Legends. Our third Revival LLF, our second to full restore HP, 100% uh, on Revival. The Red Cell does that as he uh, does Revive, and now Piccolo, who was 100% of HP on Revival there. Just to touch on the kits in a uh, fast manner, again, there's new units, so I gotta touch on them quickly. I'll have everything linked in the description for this guy's Twitter that has them all up, but... Yeah, I'll touch on what we have, and uh, well, let's get through that. So, Gohan does give... Uh, hold up, actually, let me... Hold up, let me pull this up on the side here for myself, and then I'll check it out there. For the sake of the situation that it doesn't mess up the recording real quickly. Give me two seconds. So, Gohan is a support type here. Red, which is interesting as, uh, well, <laughs> you know... Um, can exist, but, you know, it is what it is. His Z-Bullet does give 2% to blue card damage inflicted there, and does give a double attack. His unique, he gets, what, applies one effect itself upon landing a strike of blast once, gets key by 50, gets a blue card. Blue card is 30% more for the next blue card, and that happens every time on switch in and out. Then he, when he enters, on the first time he gets 2% damage inflicted, he can't activate once, so it's helped by 10% on the second time. And onward, and then for the third time and onward, he gets cargo speed. Ten timer counts cannot be canceled. Five X carry once card switch standby. Sort ally key by thirty. Twenty percent damage inflicted uh, by allies. Twenty timer counts. Thirty percent to allies. Health restoration. Ten timer counts. Seals enemy strike, and these cannot be used for three timer counts. There, that is uh, some of his stuff. And then his main sort his own health by twenty percent. Sort ally tag some family or movies health by fifty percent. Short ally sub count by ten. It's pretty nice. Um, inflicts all enemies actually down to put minus one to card draw speed. Ten timer counts. Then minus is their uh, key recovery, 10 timer counts, 50%. And then minus is their, or rather, plus is their card cost by 15 uh, for 10 timer counts. They are all card cost. Then, turn instantaneous inflicted every time an allied movie or some families hit with the enemy's art attack. Up to 50%. So definitely um, not as much support as Pan, right? Uh, he is not doing what Pan does. But he is nonetheless still a support type unit that is coming to the game that is red. Uh, it's interesting. We're getting two support type units, by the way, this uh, next banner. Well, next banners, even. So, uh, I'm not sure about that. Red is a very interesting color, as, again, Pan does exist. And Pan is actually returning. I think she's on the Gamma banner, which, yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that as we get through. Then, we do have Magenta coming with uh, Cell Max. Cell Max is a Tapion-esque thing. So, what that means is when Magenta dies... So Max does an AoE attack. Same thing as Tapion. Just like when Tapion died, Herudagon did the AoE attack there. Then Legends Limited Gamma 1 and 2. Yes, this is the first dual banner, uh, LF banner, since third anniversary. We did not expect this. And I will say, you just saw new units, right? That's all of them. There's two new units per banner. That's probably the worst part about this. Everything else gets better. I'll say that much. Everything else gets better. But the worst part is that. Just... I'm just saying that that is just how it is. But we continue. Um, by the way, they are a tag unit with a standby. They do not switch element on their tag out. So they are yellow. Yellow reigns. We'll go over this, but they're yellow reigns. They stay yellow reigns. They do not reverse it on tag out. And they have a standby move. We'll touch on details there once uh, we can. If they don't put it out in the text, I'll just tell you it, right? But 
Nonetheless, Magenta here with uh, Cell Max to look at his abilities very quickly. Also, a Sports Life, as I mentioned, a green here. Getting the ability of double defense there, and then uh, Blast Attack to Movies, PO, or Android. Then his uniques. Plus one effect, self uh, to ally, PO, Android, or green. According to our time accounts, last one battle start, by the way, as Piccolo is green. This does apply to him. You do get uh, Phase of Damage Inflicted after 40 counts elapsed, cannot be canceled. After 80 counts, he gets 20 Damage Inflicted, cannot be canceled. Now applies full effects uh, to ally, PO, Android, or green if this character is defeated. So death buffs, he does get to your allies. 40 counts elapsed, restores health by 15%. 80 counts elapsed, restores health by 20%. Uh, these effects activate, by the way, for the uh, support, even if he's dead. So if he's dead, he still supports you. He's still doing his job. Then his green card they show here, interesting. Applies buff effect, get cover, null 10 timer counts there. Nullifies enemies' uh, endurance when this character attacks or 10 timer counts off green card. So he has endurance null, nice. Kid Boo could be, you know, a problem there. Though he could cancel if he rushed, but just kill him with cards, right? Main ability, 50% damage to 60 timer counts. Get some card draw speed there for 60 timer counts. Um, only takes 5 counts to pop that main. Unique has a special cover chains against strike arts. The Gammas, by the way, have a uh, special cover chains against blast. Both of them, same thing, blast cover change. Then Uniques here. The uh, AoE damage, basically, that happens. Cannot kill, yada, yada, yada. Again, same thing as for Rudigon. That Cell Max does do there. Then the Gammas here that uh, are coming to the game. By the way, the Gammas probably have the best LF in the game. If not the best, it's like top three. Their LF is fucking crazy. Gamma, one and two. Reigns, yellow. Z ability is Blast Second Units, then Strike Defense there for movies, androids. Uh, for that exactly here. Then Gamma 1 again has a Blast Cover Chain. Same thing Gamma 2 comes with a blue card. Then apply Song Effect Self, uh, rather to enemy when using Special Cover Chain. Destroy all your enemy's cards and inflicts enemy action down there plus 2, or rather, whoa, 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 whoa. minus 2 to Arts card draw speed 5 time counts. Damn, minus 2, that's a lot. Nonetheless, continuing, green card for Gamma 1 is draw blue card next. It activates once, gets health by 10%, key by 50, reduce enemy key by 40, so those enemies green cards, seal ours count be used for 10 counts, then 20% damage C debuff for all enemies, 15 time counts there. Game of two's green card, draw blue card next, get the key back for it, get 100, or rather 10% to health, I almost said 100%, 10% to health back, then 15 damage inflicted, 15 time counts, reduce enemy key by 40, and cancels enemy after upgrades. I think I like game of ones better there, pretty sure I do. Then, game of two enters core breaker mode preparation um if you need gauges full so same thing as the boo duo tag in tag out tag in tag out fall fix curve um and own unique gauge gradually decreases while well this character's not a battlefield restores health by 10 percent short ally self count by 10 reduce enemy dragon balls by one yes i know you might be wondering they don't seal rushes no they reduce dragon balls by one then the Fallen Effects occur if, this is, if there's a defeated battle member. Source own help by 25%, goes neutral for damage to same 30 time accounts, and reduce enemy Dragon Balls by 1. Then furthermore, Gamma 1 will be controlled while in Core Breaker preparation mode. So you're not using Gamma 2, he's preparing his big move to kill Cell Max. If this character is sealed while in Core Breaker preparation mode, it will be cancelled. And then if this character is defeated in preparation mode, it will be cancelled. I heard you can swap out. I was told you can swap in and out, like everywhere i'm pretty sure if you can save a game of one you could probably swap out if that's not the case okay if that is the case that's a lot better right because you don't seal rushes you're not safe hopefully that's the case then activates core breaker which targets the entire battlefield once only gauge reaches zero well next curve upon activation deals supreme impact damage tags which is game of two source health by 50 percent 20 times actually cannot be canceled, restores advantage gauge by 100%, nullifies unfavorable element facts, two timer counts there, and then does nullify endurance. So obviously he is meant to be neutral and nuking everything as he does do his big move. Half damage inflicted will also be dealt to enemy members on standby there. There's so many stipulations telling me, holy crap. Damage to this cannot kill, cannot be evaded, cannot be cover chains, yada, yada, yada. Same thing as the boo duo there. Then, continuing even further than that, we do have a double step ups. Yes, they are on separate banners. Go on and pick a little same banner, Magenta and Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 on a different banner. Do have these superhero uh, events returning for Piccolo, Beast, and Pan. If you don't know, you do their events, you actually use them, and then you get, well, you have them already, you own them, you summoned for them, you pulled them, right? But you can get Z-Power from those events. That continues on, actually. So look here, you do have the Superhero of Justice event, which does give you Z-Power for the new Gohan and 
the uh, Gamma 1 and 2. Yeah, it gets better. It gets better than this. So you can get their Z power for everybody. It's not just those two. It's for all four. You get all four Z power if you pull them and then you do the event. Continuing on, this. Get a summon... You can get summon tickets that will give you a chance to get Piccolo or Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. You can literally pull Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 for free. I don't know what the rates on this, what the chances will be to get these tickets. You can pull Gamma 1, Gamma 2, or Piccolo, or Gohan, or Magenta, or anybody in the game that's on these two banners for free. If that's not gassed and insane and stupid, I don't know what to tell you. You can pull any unit on both these banners, theoretically, for free. And some lucky-ass guy, lucky-ass people, is going to get that. Somebody will have that happen. They will get the tickets. They will pull Orange Piccolo from that. Or the Gammas. Somebody. This is a very interesting uh, thing to do. I did not expect this. I don't think I ever expected that. No one expects dual banners. But to have that, that's very cool. Then Piccolo does touch on his kit. I don't know why it's so far above. But he has a melee type here. Who does give a strike tag defense. Then some extra blast tech to movies, regen, or super warrior. Interesting there. Then applies one effect self from Battle Star until transformation. Force anti so cannot be canceled. Your standard at 10% for 60 tower counts cannot be canceled. And gets cardinal speed one level for 60 tower counts cannot be canceled. By the way, this is obviously not their full kit. This is just what we have from what they've shown us. Green card increases the cardinal speed one level five tower counts. Short sub count by three self or 10 tower counts there. Cannot be stacked. Has a unique special cover change against strikes. And then he does revive back to 100%. Actually, if he does get uh, kaboomed, exploded on, he actually doesn't revive, similar to. I think it's like the green revival Gohan, right? I think it's that. So, yeah, that's interesting. Also, his blue card does chain into the, uh, to the uh, what's it called? The cover change, right? Then Orange Piccolo, his unique abilities here. Nullify under normal conditions, uh, paralyzed, cannot be canceled. Goes neutral defensively, five time counts every time an enemy uses a strike, blast, blue card, awakened, or ultimate arts card, lost characters on the battlefield. Effects reset after he switches in and out, so it can keep happening over and over. Then he charges own unique gauge every time when hit with an enemy's arts attack. While his character's on the battlefield, Flop X Kerr, once unique gauge is full, activates once. Stores held by 20%, gets 30% to blue card, eventually cannot be canceled. Minus 15 to blue card cost cannot be canceled. Goes neutral 15 tower counts, overall neutral 15 tower counts. Cancels on abnormal conditions. Reduce enemy key by 50. Trade all of your enemy's cards. Really aim, uh, reduce enemy. Uh, Dragon Balls by 1, and seals all enemies' main abilities for 10 time accounts there. Then, his main in orange. Plus, actually, upgrade short and sub count by 2, to self cannot be canceled. Plus, buff effect, cover null for 10 time accounts there. Only takes 10 counts on second main to pop. And for a short period of time, counter will activate upon enemies' melee, tap, actions, or strike arts while in fighting pose off his green card. So, same thing as Jiren. This new Jiren, same exact counter mechanic uh, Piccolo has here. Then, applies on effect self when character when, when counter that uh, activates. Draw a strike arts card next. Nullifies enemy destroy card effects. So let's say you destroy a card on entry. Stop that shit. Like a puddle type of thing, right? Uh, 10 timer counts there. And also gets cover null 10 timer counts as well. Combos into a strike, blast, or blue. Then a unique ability he has is a special cover change against strike, which also combos into a blue, which he had in his uh, power awakened form as well. Then the last thing being Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Shallot, Super Saiyan Blue Shallot is coming to Dragon Ball Legends on the 28th. Again, next week with that uh, purple 17 Zenkai that will be happening. A lot of info, right? Two banners, probably the biggest L part of this. You can get these units for goddamn free. You get their Z power free. You can literally pull them for free. You can spend zero dollars and pull theoretically everything. Theoretically. Not actually. You're not probably gonna. But theoretically, you can pull everything in the game on these two banners for free. That's a W. I know it's two banners, it's shitty, but if you get lucky, and this game's all luck anyways, who am I to say that's not a W? Let me guys think of part two. I'll see you guys in the next one.